It was a place where the scope of who transgender people were was really stereotyped into this one narrative, and we're seeing that shift now. I'm really excited for what the media landscape is gonna be giving when it comes to trans representation. I think in the recent past, what we've seen are transgender characters whose storyline is really all about their transness, which I think these are really important stories. But what, I'm, what I'd like to see and what I think we're gonna see in the future is having trans folks whose storyline is much bigger than that because us being trans is not our only story. There's so much more to me than my, my transness, even though that is, is important. Just like for people who aren't trans, there's so many aspects to you as cisgender people that is so important to you other than your gender. In the past, representation of transgender characters was awful. <laughs> you know, um, oftentimes trans people were represented as criminals, as people who were mentally unstable, as folks who were always being punished for who they were. Since then, trans representation in media has shifted drastically. We see that with Pose. Mother, what do we take? Everything. Saved by the Bells coming out, the reboot of Saved by the Bells, having a trans character, we have transparent. My whole life I've been dressing up like a man. This is me. We have so many shows that are really showing like the complex humanity of transgender people. I think one of the reasons this is happening is because we have transgender folks who are also behind the character, who are really working really hard to make sure that our stories are being told and that we're being represented in a way that feels authentic and feels good. I think uh, having trans folks on screen telling their stories is big for the community because it's like it's a source of inspiration. Growing up in like in the late '80s and and in the '90s. Um, there was really no trans representation. I honestly, like, I didn't even know, like, transgender people even, like, existed. I think that if I had had re trans representation in media in a really significant way, I think I probably would have come into my authentic self earlier. There wouldn't have been so much confusion. There wouldn't have been these bouts of depression. You know, I would have known that I actually existed. Because the thing is, this representation, th these are models of possibility. You know, when I see myself reflected in, in pop culture, which I'm constantly consuming, then it lets me know that, that I am valid in a lot of ways, that I can exist.